Hey Brats, welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out a product that I am very excited to check out but it's going to be kind of random. This is a USB neck fan and the reason I'm excited to check this out is I'm thinking about what would this be like for VR fitness. So let's check this thing out. So this is a real simple around the neck design, two fans. Definitely, I would say if you have long hair, pull your hair back. If you've got a long beard, you might be in trouble. So with quarantine going on, I don't know, the beard might get too long uh, and it might be at risk with this. But for now, I think we'll be okay. So let's open this thing up. Always have on hand a sharp, small unboxing knife to unbox with. Now, interestingly, this thing touts itself as an aromatherapy fan. I don't really do aromatherapy. I don't know what the heck that's about. I only wanted this to try and keep me cool when I'm doing VR. Apparently, it comes with some weird aromatherapy pouch. So that's probably something you stick, I don't know, eucalyptus or something inside of it. We're not gonna worry about that. Manual, same thing. We're not gonna worry about that. Comes with a micro USB cord to charge it with. And then it's really simple. Just two basic fans with an around the neck battery design. Pop this thing around your neck. Boy, they're closer to my face than I imagined they would be. Aim these things up at your face and turn it on. It says reverse side, do not turn 180 degrees. Well, yeah, because then it's going to pull air away from your face. I mean, I guess you could. There's no risk besides pulling your hair into it, but that's a risk no matter what. I don't like this tag. I want to take this off. Come off. So it's got power and then it's got speed. Came with a little bit of a charge. Oh no, that's not speed, That's it's got lights, so we can look real cool. Maybe if you were gonna go out running with this guy, it actually cycles through all the cars. I had no idea that was a feature of this. So that that would probably mess with tracking on certain VR headsets, so that would be helpful. So, a little decent wind, it's not potentially fully charged, but I would definitely say even right now, with how close to your face this is, it feels like it would make a difference in keeping you cool. Now I'm really scared. Okay, luckily my beard hair currently is not long enough to get caught inside the fan. It'll just rub on here. So that would definitely be something if you got long facial hair to think about. And then of course, is this gonna get in the way? Are you gonna hit it on your face? I mean, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do some testing and see what happens. I feel like I'm worried when I'm really VRing, this thing's gonna work its way sideways and start banging on my headset. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can wrap it around the neck more and aim it back. I don't know. We're gonna go do some VR exercise, test this thing out, see how much, see how much it actually helps. So let's go check that out. <laughs> oh, we didn't even have it on high yet. So that was only low. So now we got low, medium, high. Definitely makes some noise. On high, that's producing some pretty decent wind, actually. The question is, how long would the battery last? I mean, most of my VR workout sessions are going to be 30 minutes to an hour. So you might want to, you might have to just keep this thing on your neck and only turn it on in the most desperate of times, depending on the battery life. So I'm going to charge this thing up and then we're going to check it out. Oh my God, that feels amazing. Okay, so I just did a hundred minutes, as you could see in another video of Knockout League's heavy bag and I am a sweaty mess. So I'm gonna wear these fans for a little bit and try doing some reflex alley and see how these feel when you're moving around, when you're active and bouncing and uh, see how they do as far as keeping you cool and relaxed. So, oh God, I am already really tired though. So this, this shouldn't last long. Definitely, they're definitely noisy when you have them on high. I can hear them very loudly. Oh my God. Got some training to do, young blood. So we'll do some reflex alley for just a little bit and see. See what it feels like to have these things on. <sighs> right now they feel great though, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, kid. Let's see how Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh gosh, it's been too long since I've done this! I don't know if I can do hard already. I gotta say, with the fans on your shoulders the way they land, they're not as noticeable as I would have thought. Oh, but there they go. Oh gosh, so if it's something where you need to duck and move, yeah, they're not gonna stay in place. Oh gosh, oh gosh, get back, ah, 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 ah. 
I can't control it. My fans are flying all over the place. Ah! 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 Oh gosh! Those fans are just gonna fall off me. Ah! Okay. Well, I think we've answered that question for an active VR game. These are not gonna do it because what are you doing to me? they're not staying solidly enough where I need them to because you start bouncing you start dodging and they're all over the place this, this, we'll try this, it this. once more got them as tight on my neck as I can but the problem is those arms don't really want to stay in place So tired, it's so hard to get my arms up at this point. So if you're very cautious and you purposefully don't move your shoulders around, they'll stay in place decently well. I would say this would be better for like a game like, oh gosh, Windlands or something where you just want some immersion of having wind on your face. But for an, an intense workout game, this isn't gonna stay there. You need a couple box fans in the room aimed at you because I'm having to be very cautious and it's impeding my gameplay of how much I move around. Feels great. Um, they feel great, but it's really messing up my game here. Especially something like Beat Saber where you're making big swings. This wouldn't work well at all for these would fall off almost instantly. Okay, we're dead. That was a good run. Boy, that didn't take much to figure that out, did it? So after testing these, we figured out that these really do not work in VR, at least as intended, just putting it around your neck and having it here, not gonna work great. Now, something you may know about me, I don't give up easy. So what I'm gonna try to do is see if it's possible to attach this somehow to the VR headset. Now keep in mind, it's not gonna work for everyone for a couple reasons. One, if you have multiple VR headsets like I do, uh, you're gonna have to move this thing every time. Two, if you don't want it on your VR headset all the time, it may be hard to find an easy solution to get it on there. And three, it might be a pain to charge it while it's stuck to your VR headset. But I'm gonna try it anyways, cause I wanna know. So I went out to the garage to my trusty bin, huge bin of zip ties. So let's try this out. So what I'm imagining is if this were attached directly to the headband here, so let's do this where everyone can see. So if this were attached directly to the headband here, I'm figuring I could turn the fans down on my face. I wouldn't notice the extra weight and it would keep it off my shoulders. So give me just a moment. I'm going to attach this thing up. Okay, now that is much less noticeable. Looks like you have Valve Index headphones or something on here. It's gonna be much less noticeable, I would hope, as far as being on your head, so. Now there is definitely some added weight. And you're definitely, you'd have to tweak it each time to get this just right because I kind of want them to be even. I guess it doesn't really matter. So let's find the power button. So I've got to say, like having it this close to your face, it does feel like this would feel really good as far as being active. The weight isn't enough. I mean, the headset's already kind of heavy. The weight isn't enough that I'm going to notice it horribly. And actually, if this was on a quest, I feel like that extra weight in the back would be nice to counterbalance it a bit. So <laughs> is this theoretically plausible i mean yeah it does work is it something you're going to want to attach to your vr headset every single time you go to use it no i mean for the occasional really active sweaty hot game or maybe if you're someone who's fortunate enough to have a fitness only headset that you use this could be pretty cool actually i like it but i i would say the way it's intended and bought meant to work on your shoulders, it's not gonna work that way for active VR games. If you're sitting and playing Windlands, you want a little extra immersion, have that wind blowing your face, sure, it's fine for that. So I will leave a link in the description for you if you do wanna check this out. I mean, outside of VR, there's a bunch of different purposes 
you could use it for. <laughs> but it's definitely, it's a funny little product. It works well though. It's just loud. That's, that's definitely my number one complaint with it uh, is how loud it is. You need, you better have good sound reducing headphones on or good earbuds in so that you're not going to notice it if you're playing a game with it. So let me know what you think if you've ever played around with anything like this. I know I've seen some attachments that people were trying to design that would attach to the bottom of the headset and the wind could actually be programmed by developers. So like you stepped out into a scene where it was windy and you'd feel the wind. And then if you were slowly moving, you'd feel less wind. That's really cool. But I think that's something that's either far out or too much of a gimmick. We won't see it happening, but it would be really immersive to be able to feel wind in game. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in another reality.